Good morning, Franklin. It's Monday morning. I'm Eric Stuckey, your city administrator, and it's time for the top three things you need to know this week. Of course, I have my handy dandy post-it with me, and we're here to talk about lots of interesting things that you need to know about. And our first one is the update of the City of Franklin zoning ordinance. We've gone through a very involved uh, public engagement process, and that's taking another step forward. And I have with me today Kelly Dannenfelser, our Assistant Planning Director, to talk about this process and talk about the zoning ordinance. Thank you, Eric, for having me on your show. <laughs> Great to uh, be here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, this all started with the adoption of Envision Franklin in 2017. And we knew at that time we needed to update the zoning ordinance because it was tied so heavily to the plan that we had in place before Envision Franklin. So we've spent the last year, year and a half, interviewing design professionals, developers, planning commissioners, board of mayor and aldermen, and we brought a consultant on board to do this four-day massive public meeting series to per get public input from the community and now we've got the draft zoning ordinance that's been released and it's on zonefranklin.com and you can go there and review the ordinance and give us your feedback and we'll have a big public meeting scheduled for august 15th from 5 to 8 p.m okay so we promoted a few months ago something called plan palooza that's what you're talking about we had hundreds of citizens come out and participate and so that work is translated into what people see in the zoning ordinance now right so this is not just us talking to each other and uh, design professionals it's it's the product of public engagement yes we took all of that public input and we wrapped it into the zoning ordinance draft that that is out there for public review now so now there's actually something to review and to react to and to respond to we took all that input and gathered it and now it's in the document ready for another round of review. So folks just go to either our web website, franklintn.gov, or zonefranklin.com. You can see the actual work product there. Uh, is there an avenue through that for people to go ahead and give input directly online, or is it, how do you want people to do that? Yes, there's a process. You can just email that to us. It's, the address is on the website. All right, check it out. Your input is critical to, to this, has been throughout the process, so we want you to do that. That's item number one. Item number two is a great community event. Uh, happens every year. It's called Juneteenth, and it is uh, the, the most historical event related to the abolition of slavery in the United States, celebrated across the country, especially in the African American community, but all communities. And so our Juneteenth celebration, sponsored by the African American Heritage Foundation, happens this Saturday. Uh, off of 11th Street, uh, 11th Avenue, uh, over by the Macklemore House Museum. So come on down from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. There'll be food, music, some speakers, uh, games for the kids, all sorts of stuff. So come on down and enjoy that and celebrate that part of uh, important part of our history. So that's number two, Juneteenth at the Macklemore House from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Also, if you want to look for some additional parking, you can park at Johnson Elementary School right across the street. So that's item number two. Item number three, right here, sitting here on the bench, is the 2020 Franklin City Budget. Tomorrow evening, as a part of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen meeting, we will have our public hearing for this budget, also the second of three votes related to the budget. Uh, I talked to you about it when we released it back in the first part of May, but just a couple key highlights. It's just under $74 million in the general fund, which is actually down about 1% from the current budget. The all funds budget, which is everything all rolled into one, is just under $161 million and is up just under 1%. And then, most importantly to you uh, taxpayers out there, the property tax rate remains the same and remains as one of the lowest in the state of Tennessee. And then uh, the biggest highlight in this budget overall is we are adding about 10 staff positions, including three police officers and key staff and parks and uh, streets and engineering. A lot of those positions focused on our ability to deliver important infrastructure projects for you, streets, water, park projects, et cetera. So those are all important elements of this budget. I'll be talking about it at the public hearing, and it's also your, your 
time to have your voice heard in the budget process again if you'd like. So those are your top three things. We've got the zoning ordinance for you to review and respond to. ZoneFranklin.com is the place to go for that. We've got Juneteenth this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on 11th Avenue uh, uh, near Johnson Elementary School. And then finally, your budget for FY20, fiscal year 2020, is uh, on for public hearing tomorrow night. That's it, Franklin. Have a great week.